everyone's kind of concerned for their, you know, their children. Joe Enos is the manager at Monkey Sports in Norwood. He's having trouble keeping hockey neck guards in stock right now after a tragedy rocked the hockey world. Former Pittsburgh Penguin Adam Johnson was slashed in the neck by a skate while playing overseas. He died from his injuries. They're just really concerned like a freak accident could happen like that. Hence the uptick in, in sales for these neck guards. Both these neck straps and Kevlar collars on compression shirts are selling fast for younger kids. But for older age groups like this U16 league, neck guards are more stigmatized. So it's opening the conversation of whether or not they should be mandated for everyone. It's a freak accident, so it's probably not something I would consider. It should be enforced. You know, I think it's a personal choice. They're not necessarily the most comfortable things to wear. Pete Gagne is a coach for the Boston Junior Huskies. Most of his players don't wear them, but he thinks maybe they should. I think maybe it needs to be re revisited a little bit about, um, you know, whether they're mandated or not. When they were little, I made them wear them. Without somebody on the ice enforcing it, it's hard to continue. Do you like the protection? Uh, yeah, I do. I think it helps. Connor Harris wears this neck guard on the ice, though his dad thinks it should still be up to the parents. He started wearing a neck guard because he was going to a summer camp and the camp mandated he wore it, and then he started wearing it and he just hasn't really looked back since then. Whether you wear one or not, everyone agrees having the conversation is helpful after such a horrible tragedy. Maybe we need to rethink the way we're doing things because obviously something like that should never happen in this sport. Peter Eliopoulos, WCVB, New Center 5. Good.